Hi and welcome to DIY Craft Club. Today I'm taking a closer look at a Krylon gold leafing pen. I tried it out on several different projects and I would like to share the results with you. If you would like to see more product reviews and tutorials, please subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified. This pen is acid free so it's archival safe and it has a high pigment load, so it will cover almost any surface with just one coat. When I saw this warning that the contents may catch fire, I went to the Krylon website to take a look at the safety data sheet. And everyone watching this should really take a moment to read that information because there's some pretty hefty warnings about this product, especially for pregnant women. I'll post that link below so that you can use this pen in the safest way possible. So this is called a chisel tip, which allows you to vary the width of your painting strokes and it comes unprimed. So to prime it and get it ready for use, first you shake it and I shook this one for about 30 seconds. Then you just keep pressing down until the paint makes its way into the tip and you can see it start to make its way down, but don't stop until the tip's fully saturated and you can draw smooth lines. It's a good idea to take the time to get the initial priming done properly so that your pen will work as it's supposed to. And this is the same process with almost all paint pens. So I just went ahead and drew some quick lines to see how it worked. And I noticed that the chisel tip's quite hard without any give in it. And then it also left some spreading of some clear liquid that I noticed right away. And it does have ghosting on the other side of this paper. So let's get into the craft projects and I do have quite a lot to share with you today so I hope you stay with me. This is a painting that I made with some broken jewelry pieces that I had. The jewelry was a gift and it broke but I didn't want to throw it away so I turned it into like a mini abstract art piece and I'm just going over some matte medium here and it's covering it perfectly. Then to show you how it looks on darker paper, I made this little art card with some scrapbook paper that I had and it's just so pretty and now that I'm working with it, I can't wait to get in the other colors to play with too. And this is some coffee stained paper that I made and I just went ahead and drew a quick lavender sketch so I'm embellishing it just slightly here and there to give it some accents. And also, if you want to try making your own coffee stain paper, we have a great tutorial on our website for that. The gold finish resembles actual metal plating, and I wasn't really sure of the hard tip at first, but it's actually really helpful because even with these rigid surfaces, it painted on really easily and evenly. And another way to use this is for embellishing your own stickers. And I have a box of magazine and old book clippings that I like to use in my planner and for like card making and stuff. So right away I thought that this would be great for that. So if you do make your own stickers, you might like this a lot. One thing I should mention is that you do need to bring the pigment down into the tip every so often. So to keep it flowing or else you'll end up with skipping on your papers. And if you're using this for lettering, it doesn't really have like a smooth outline like a soft brush would. So if you do like a finished look, you may have to go over the edges with a dark color or black. And then for a final project that I thought would be nice was to make a card. Again, I'm using some magazine clippings and an old book page to make a collage. And for those of you who like to make your own cards, I find it really helpful to have a box with clippings that I can go through for those card making sessions. I've always enjoyed making mixed media and collage cards. I just find it super relaxing. And when you use things that you already have, you can make beautiful cards just for a few pennies. These would be great to sell at your craft shows or in your Etsy shops and always feel free to use any ideas from our channel and website for your selling ideas. That's totally okay. Now that is just so pretty. I just love it. 
that would even be nice in a frame too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review and found it helpful. And for those who don't know, all of the products that we review are given right back to our members in Craftbox giveaways. So to become a member, just go to our website and click the Become a Member link and you will be entered. Till next time, have a golden day.